Hello everybody, welcome back to the dev blog. Today, I think we're going to work on a little something something, as we always do. No, actually, whoops, I think I, no, that's the right thing. Okay, I um actually created a handful of models and textures, which I have on my computer someplace here. Um, and these were being designed for, wow, I got all sorts of stuff. They were being, I don't even know what all these things are. I don't know if they're all used at all. They were being used for a, um, I was working on another project along with three or four other people for a, it was actually a contest. I forget who was doing it, but it was to make uh, educational software for third world countries to teach literacy and math. And we were using my test for it. And I wrote a mod that was pretty much just like decorative stuff. We were going to use it for the spawn location in there. Uh, it was kind of like spaceship type stuff. I'm going to throw the, all that in my sub game. This stuff's never been released. Um, other than the three or four people that were working on the project with me, the project has now faded and it kind of died because the leader, we don't know what happened to him. We can't get a hold of him. He was uh, somewhere on the other side of the world. Um, but yeah, he kind of just, we lost contact with him. We don't know what happened. But he was the leader, and without him, we kind of... It, it just fell apart because we didn't know what was going on. There was no real director or anything anymore. So all this stuff was never released. It's been sitting on my computer, and I was like, you know what? I made all these models and stuff, textures. I'm going to use them. So uh, in this video, we're pretty much just going to be porting them over to a spawn mod. So first off, I need a... Uh, I need some stuff to steal. So I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste that because that's how I run. And we're going to change this to spawn. And, uh, actually, I might not even need this. There's no craft recipes for spawn. And they're all going to be creative only. Uh, they also will not be breakable other than while I am using them to create once the spawn center is made I will actually delete everything else so I have um, this mods called decor someplace here uh, blah, 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 blah. and these are all my blend files but why is the space stuff not in this that's disappointing we got all my OBJs here. Um, maybe the file sitting on my laptop. I have an XCF file. I don't have a Blender file. Let me look in my Blender directory real quick here. In the Mind Test folder, is there something here called Ah Spaceship? Okay, here we are. All right, this is actually probably the better place to grab it from. So let me open that up on my desktop because I mirror some of my stuff between both computers. Ah, uh, spaceship. So these are the different textures. Wait, the blend file's not in here? All my OBJs. The Lua file. Textures and OBJs. Why is there not a blend file? There's not much to the code, so it's going to be really easy to steal it and use it. But I really wanted that blend file. Because that's honestly the easiest way to show what everything is. But I don't see that. That's horrible. Oh, wait, wait, maybe it's... I should really be doing this on my desktop so you can see what I'm doing. Maybe it's in here. Is there a analysis? Oh, wait. I have a spaceship blend. This might be it. Let's see. I hope it is. Um, well, this is some of it, but the textures aren't there. Oh, yeah, this is all of it. I wish this had the textures. This is horrible without the textures. 
Oh, wait, let me do this. Let's turn to solid. There we go. Okay, so this stuff's all textured. But the textures are someplace else. I don't know. So blue is one color. Yellow is another texture. So we have these different floors. So they can like run along a wall. There's uh, an inside corner here. Uh, outside corner. Uh, straight for like doing a bridge. A rails, a double rail, a angled rail, and a single rail. A ladder for going up and down. Windows for looking out. Um, and they'll, you can make it whatever size you want. And it just use these in your corners and then this node to fill in the center. This is a little ship console uh, stairway and a ramp, which is actually two blocks. And I guess there's more. Nope, there's nothing more, just the default key or the, the collision box. So that should actually get um, copied into this directory. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new folder here and just call it blends. Now, you don't really have to provide the blend file for anything. I always do because it's, it's just easier for me and uh, it's easier for everybody else too. And um, we have somebody wants to, you know, do something with a model. They have the blend file right there. And they don't have to worry about importing an OBJ or anything like that. So the rest of this stuff's all just whatever, I think. Should be, because everything else is in Spaceship. All right, so let's go into textures. And we need all of these. So I'm going to go, no, wait. Yeah, I think I do need all of these. I honestly don't remember how this one works. It's been a while since I used this code. Paste my textures in. Now these should all be called spawn. Spawn under floor, score floor. Now fortunately there is a uh, renaming utility. It's like GP, nope. For some reason it's not in my start menu. I don't know why. My program menu, whatever you want to call it. Uh, GP rename. I always have to open it. What do you mean it's not installed? What? Why wouldn't I have that installed? Maybe that's why it never shows. But I know I've used it before, so unless you just use it on my laptop. Um, yeah, this is, you know, very dev blog like. This is what a, a true professional developer would do in a YouTube video is install software packages while recording. Because, hey, why not, right? Okay, so it's now set up. Let's see if it's here. Still not there. So you just have to watch it from the terminal. I should uh really add that to the to the menu, I guess. But whatever. I just need to browse to the correct location, which is Oh, is this not showing hidden folders? Uh show hidden files. Here we go. Okay, so it's gonna be in Nathan S21. It's going to be in Mind Test. It's going to be in games. New sub game mods, uh, spawn, and textures. And you'll see we have all these decor underscore ship underscore. And I have some of those uh, spawns. So we want to do a replace, remove. Let me just make this a little bigger here. Okay, I guess that didn't need to be any bigger. All right, so we're going to replace decor underscore ship with spawn. And we'll hit preview, and now we have spawn, floor angle, and so on and so forth. So everything will be changed from decor ship to spawn underscore floor or rail. And we just hit rename. Everything's renamed for us in one easy step. Love it. I maybe I should have left it open so I could rename all of these as well. From SS to spawn. Probably should have. Oh, let's open it. Oh, man, it made me. That's mean. I have to rebrowse back to that directory. All right, well, let's go to models here. And grab all the models. And copy and paste them over. All right, governor. And then we'll just go back to mine test. 
back to games, back to new sub game, back to mods, spawn, and models. And we want to do a replace remove, we want to change our sauce with spawn. We want to do all of them, we'll preview just to make sure everything looks right. Yep, everything is spawn and rename. Boom, everything's renamed. Now I can close it because I don't need any of that. All right, so I've got all my textures. I feel like that's not the right amount of textures, but whatever. And we have a space Lua file here, and I have an init Lua file there. So let's just go ahead and copy and paste everything, because that, again, is a great way to do a dev blog, just copy and paste everything. I'm kind of kidding. It's not a good way to do it. But <laughs> spawn, everything's just going to be called spawn. Pretty much, I can just do replace. Replace decor with spawn. And it found 18, so let's see. Yep, that should definitely be... Oh, I should be hitting replace. Yep, 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 yep. 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 All right, so everything's called spawn now. Is that right? Probably not. Not in creative inventory zero. I don't know if that's the right number, so I'm going to remove that. Uh, and we'll actually get rid of cracky later on, too. But I think we need to leave that for now. Or I'll just do everything with a group of oddly breakable by hand. I don't think two is the fastest, though. But, like I said, once this gets deployed onto a server, all of these will be changed to not be breakable at all. Okay, everything here, oddly breakable by hand, local ship parts. Okay, pipes, pipes corner, what? I didn't even have pipes, floor grate, group wall. Some of this might be stuff that wasn't mine. Ship wall. I don't remember making a ship wall. Ship stairs, ship slab. Collision box full, collision box pinched. I don't know. This is so hacky. I should have just pretty much rewritten all the code, I think. Creative mode, which is silly because I don't have a creative mode. Attempt to index global stairs, a nil value. And line 48. Stairs, register stair. What? No, I don't want to register stairs. It's probably why they didn't work because because too much copy pasta. All right. So um, yeah, I don't have the creative mod. I should probably get that. So I'm just gonna have to try this. Um, oh great, but I don't know what these call values are. Oh, it's like white. Okay, let's try that. Give me. Spawn ship underscore wall underscore white. Uh, I think it has to be a capital. And uh, let's say 20. Invalid. Oh, are you kidding me? Fortunately, you can use the up arrow to repeat your last command. Cannot give unknown item. Interesting. Very interesting. Let's scroll down to ship parts. No, let's go to ship models. Because this is stuff I know I made. See, I think all this other stuff is something else that's uh, not my code. Because this is what I remember making. All right. So we want to do give me. Give me spawn spaceship underscore and then name. Wow, these are great names. Like two and three letter codes. E-I-C. Give me 20 of those. I didn't run it as a command. What an idiot. No worries. 20 out of inventory. Hey. I have a walkway crossing inside corner. Which looks invisible. Most peculiar. Why is it invisible? Why is it invisible? 
Okay, so I'm pretty sure I just want the models. So everything above this can go bye-bye. Uh, can it? Did I ever make collision? I don't think I ever made collision boxes for any of this stuff. Yeah, local collision box, ships, models. Ship models, I-5. Collision box, also something. Okay, I never made collision boxes. <laughs> Like I said, the code was never really finished because, you know, it, it just wasn't. See, this isn't right, though. This isn't the right code. Or is it maybe? Because I used an overlay for the texture. Because I had multiple colors available. still invisible okay well maybe I'm using the wrong name for the model now if I was it should be spitting an error at me saying model not found okay so the mesh it's looking for SS that's why it should be looking for spawn spawn underscore model obj okay so that's fixed um, what about textures? Spawn ship. You know what? Looks like it should just be the word spawn. Underscore. And then texture. Floor corner inside. So should I have like a... Perfect. Okay. This will work. Guaranteed. It probably... Ooh, that's promising. Yay! Yay, yay, yay! I've got my little my little things. Okay. So now I can do give me spawn ss underscore and um let's do rd20. And that should give me the rails. Beautiful. And um Yeah, see, issues because it doesn't have collision boxes, so I can't walk between it. But more or less, that's how that works. They light up a little bit, all the space elements do, so that's pretty cool. Uh, but definitely need to make some collision boxes here. So, let's... Let's make some collision boxes. Those are my favorite things ever. They're not. I hate collision boxes. They're so hard to figure out for meshes. Um, offhand, I honestly don't know what I'm doing for that. So I'll have to reference this. I'll throw that on my second screen. You can't see it. Sorry. And I just have to do... Whoa, ho, 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 ho. Typing in the wrong file local okay so it's called something here obviously i don't want him calling it something um so i'm gonna call this um i'll do call box as short at hand for collision box if i just do call and it's gonna be color so call box underscore and um I guess rail underscore double. I know, way too long of a name. Sue me. The type equals fixed. I've never seen anything other than fixed, so I'm not sure why we even have to enter that. Now there's going to be two sets of numbers for this. Unfortunately, I have no idea what they should be. So I'm just going to give it a go and try negative 0.5, comma, negative 0.5, comma, negative 0.5, comma, 0.5, comma, 0.5, comma, 0.5. 
Now I know that is a full cube, but I don't want to be a full cube. I only want to be a sliver on one side. So I need to figure out what's left and what's right. <laughs> this is always so much fun. Let's try negative point one and see where that pulls part of the collision box out. There's so much trial and error on this. I hate it. I don't even see a difference. Um, yeah, that still looks like the full box to me. Wow, I should have set that to oddly breakable by hand something better. Oh, did I make that go higher? Is that even possible? No, it's closing box the same size. Okay. So I don't see that that changed anything. At oh. Duh. Probably should turn those on and change this from being... Now, this shouldn't even be a string. This is because it's a variable. It should be... Oh, wait. That's the wrong one. This is probably going to give me an error. I don't even know. Um, because we're doing rail double. Why we start with the bottom? Oh, I don't know. Okay, we want to do call box rail double. Boom. Let's see if it'll even launch. It did. Good. Good. Um, see any difference? Oh, no, because I forgot something again. I never did that. Here we go. Let's see if it works now. Hey! It's missing a chunk. So let's put that negative one to a positive 0.4. And if that's right, dude, that's exciting. Wow, that's right. Sweet sauce. OK, um, I could pull the top down a little bit if I knew what height was. I'm assuming it's positive 5. If that's the side, let's try this one to 0.35. Nice. I think I can put it at 0.3, though. Okay, and then we just need to copy this and uh, change this one back to negative 0.5. And change this one to negative 0.4. I think if I did that right, I'll have. I definitely didn't do that right. Had I done it right, I would have had one selection box on one side, one on the other. Hmm. Okay, well, here's what we'll do. I'll comment this code out. Wait, wait, wait. Wrong one. I'll comment out this one, because I know this one's right. And we'll see what we get with this. And we can get the other half. <laughs> what? That makes no sense. I have a half of it, and I have a half of it which is also opposite halves. And there we go. So if that's right, why doesn't the other one work? Are they maybe just in the wrong order? Honestly, I have no idea if these matter. Let's try now. Now we have an error. Expect, oh, yeah. Let's put the comma there and delete that comma. And the moment of truth does not work. But why? Why doesn't this work? The weird thing is, I can select the node below it. Oh, wait a minute. I bet it's because I'm using halo selection. 
Let's change my settings. Uh, I don't even know what's under, honestly. Graphics, advanced. Nope. Selection box. Mesh cache. Interesting. Inventory image hack. Hmm. See a lot of stuff here. Enable my oh, it didn't tell me anything. Someplace there's an option to turn that off. Is it under shading? No. It wouldn't make sense to be under filtering. Basic? Node highlighting, here we go. Let's use box. Save. Back to settings, single player. Let's play this again and see what happens. Hey! There we are. So it's only because it's using the halo that it's not working. Now that, whoops, that is kind of messed up, but we want it so we can walk through and not fall over. So if I could find my old pathway here, when we're in it, we are stuck in it. Yes, that's exactly how it should work. So now I just need to go through and make a whole bunch more of these for all the other rails. I also need to go back and fix the brokenness of this because it doesn't let me have different colors. And I know I did all the code for that. I just need to figure out where it is. But see what's weird is I have this texture, which is really hard to tell, but it's white. And that was just to use as an overlay. And I could have sworn everything I had here I had made into overlays. And then I was doing a colorize and overlaying it onto the blank floor. And that code's just gone. I'm going to have to remake all of it, along with making collision boxes for all these. But that would be really boring to watch. So, not going to film it. That's going to wrap up this dev blog. I don't know what we were supposed to learn in this, but that's the progress so far. Code will be updated on GitHub long before this video even goes public. Like a month before, because that's how far out I'm recording videos. But thanks for watching. Any questions you ever have, feel free to ask. But keep in mind, these videos are recorded like a month before they're released. So yeah, if you ask a question, you'll be waiting about a month for a video answer. Obviously, I answer my comments as quickly as possible. Because that's supposed to help your channel out, according to YouTube. You know, I need that green. I need that green. I don't know if you can hear the microphone picking up me rubbing my fingers together for that green but yeah that's why we do this to make money uh except i'm not making any money doing it like four bucks a month anyways thanks for watching i will see you next time